what's up y'all i'm gonna do a quick video here just kind of uh, my first video of unboxing the 127 it is still hot i've been outside about an hour just kind of cleaning up stuff some of these boxes may be in my yard sale video but i didn't film every day i kind of went every other day just to give me and my camera a break i'm about two weeks ahead on videos then i'll get into my 127 content but i'm going to try to open up a couple of these totes but i'll flip this around here and then we'll go in and um, we'll check out this first box this is my building i showed a couple people in our group it probably didn't look this big in the picture i built all this me and my brother he helped me on some of it i put up the walls my son helped me on a couple of the walls here's kind of our totes these two totes down here those two red totes that came with the haul that i know is on video and then these totes we took with us total of eight more to fill up our u-haul truck that was our limit i said truck i meant trailer i think the u-haul ended up getting a bigger one than what we ordered we only filled it up about halfway i can't even imagine how hard we would have had to work and how far and fast we would have had to drive to fill up another eight totes but i could have fit another eight totes into that trailer so this box i don't think i had this one on film but um first thing i'll pull out here i never buy nascar but as some of you know uh, nascar or hooters recently dropped nascar when they went bankrupt i've also sold this exact car at least three or four times for about 15 bucks so the allen kowitzki hooters car i'm also a big fan of chase elliott and i'm actually quite upset that um hooters dropped them i went to one sale they had a ton of nascar but they had five of these i, I dug through all kinds of crap and pulled all these out i like this because they can go all, all on one listing the lady made me a deal i got them for three bucks a piece but considering they're all be on one listing it's easy to list all five of them as a mini bulk deal um i know that i can get a return on that she also gave my wife a pretty good discount on some garments that she bought so that kind of takes our overall price down quite a bit at that same sale at that particular sale there were three um like basically three garages on, a, on about the same property 2018 us open shinnecock hills capital one it's an a head hat with the a head clasp so a pretty nice hat um looks like it hadn't been worn much if at all still has the cardboard inside that doesn't really mean anything i wear mine with the cardboard inside but um golf hats for specific tournaments are usually a good pickup i got that for a buck a little bit earlier in the day my wife picked up this cabbage patch kid with the with the red hair no box she at the same sale she got one that was in the box sealed those are not going to be for sale i probably need to take that inside this was a big pickup for me there's actually some stuff in here but um guys fishermen a lot of times fishermen buy really really nice backpacks and they use them to hold their fishing gear i got this at a sale with a bunch of fishing stuff what the guy doesn't know and i explained to him this backpack dc is a skateboarding logo these straps right here are to hold a skateboard this is a pretty sought after backpack now it was used for outdoor so um, i'm gonna have to do some cleaning i'll probably have to throw it in the bathtub and strip it that's sweat i'm dripping everywhere it's freaking hot but um i got this bag for three dollars um the guy had a table full of fish grills and i made a little haul on fish grills which i did several of through the trip i even finished off on sunday a guy was trying to clean it out he um <laughs> it was weird he said he sold his truck 
so his wife was coming to get him but he needed to get rid of some stuff fast and i bought um like 20 fishing reels for 40 bucks same place where i got the sealed billy big mouth bass these diawas this one here i have one of these and it don't work but this one looked like it did work and knowing that i have the exact same one i have some parts this is made in korea so it's vintage these diawas typically are about $30 it's what i can sell for i got all these for um he wanted five bucks a piece but then this one he was like oh it's tiny i'll give it to you for a dollar um but bucks mini reel i mean no idea what that's worth made in china but um probably worth more than a dollar and then this bigger one i actually have sold one of these it's a diawa it's a larger casting reel um has a kind of a nostalgic sound to it they peel the sticker back and it makes a flick 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 i don't know it's hard to i can't show you and hold the phone but uh, he wanted 10 for this one and then this one he just wanted a couple bucks oh, this is another one i actually sold one of these and it got returned because it wouldn't catch so i have to um i've got to figure this out but at the same time i have one i can use for parts if i need to fix it so it wasn't a big deal um when i got up there i asked him if he could give me a better deal and i got all four of these for 15 dollars this is one that ten dollars on this pretty sure they didn't charge me that but that's a good deal i picked up three of these for the whole weekend and this even had the pieces i pick up these pieces all the time and I have a ton of extras just for when i find these without pieces but i picked up three of these tree stump nutcracker sets for me it's a big seller especially around christmas but i always put uh i always put retro bnb as in airbnb retro bnb decor in my listing title somewhere these things sell quick and then i got um this is your guardians of the galaxy guy um marvel what skylander xfinity something like that it, i think they threw it in for free but um definitely got three of them over the weekend i don't think they're on the same day but found several of them um found several things like this that says 25 that was a quarter um shop right always look for aladdin anything these vintage aladdin cups people love these that was from that same sale that i got this from that barn sale here's these were two bucks a piece speedy cafe these were whirlies but still these any cup that's a weird style like this i always tend to get good money i haven't comped these out yet but i mean i've had some go as much as 30 or 40 bucks just because they're a unique shape got this there too um i picked this up because it's like sonic and coca-cola but unique shape doesn't have the lid but it is a coleman um I said it doesn't have a lid. It's got a flip top, but there's some threads right here. So it looks like it probably had some other type of lid maybe to go with it, but it may not. I don't know. But it's probably a good one. I'll come over to the rest of this tape. Got this. Got this in a church sale. It's a... Um, Steve McNair bobblehead. That's not for sale. That's for me. Um, I say it's not for sale. He's about to have a Netflix show come out soon. Um, but for now, that's mine. Uh, what's funny is I passed that up at the same sale last year. This one, give credit to the wife for this. She picked this up. I passed it up because I couldn't really see inside of it. I think we gave like a buck for this. But... Um, marble like torch flashlight thing i don't even know but good condition 
still sealed in plastic. But yeah, I just basically gave a buck for that. I wonder if that was, I think that was the same sale. She picks up kids' books. We have four grandkids. We, <laughs> we stack these books up and she never sells them. And we don't really read them to them. Um, but she might. I don't know. She may start selling them. But little pocket books like this. She picks up little pocket books and purses. We love the small ones. This is a leather fossil. And it has some color on it. Which we can clean that up with leather cleaner. Make it smell nice. Has a five dollar tag. I'm sure she she talks people down on everything. I doubt she paid more than a couple of bucks for that. But it'll be worth most of your fossil wallets are worth twenty to thirty bucks. Um, this was four dollars. Buffy, Vampire Slayer. I mean, just Halloween's coming up. Sometimes that can be popular. This is some KitchenAid items. I don't even know what. I must be getting into her stuff. But this is a um, SWR meter, high frequency meter, Radio Shack. They said it's new. Um, I was a little skeptical. You know, people think if a box closes, it's new, but it actually does look really good. So I've got to figure out if that's worth anything. I don't. I try not to pay cover price on anything. This was a. Um, compact pocket Bible sealed so good deal there and then she got a cup with a pig on it she collects pigs so she made out like a bandit um, this is from that barn sale it's funny because when, when we went to get in the car she goes, look what I found. And I told her, I said, yeah, I picked that up and I put it down. But it's a dog with a Titans jersey uniform on. I picked it up and put it down for a dollar. I didn't know that it was Build-A-Bear. So just that Titans uniform is probably worth 20 bucks because it's Build-A-Bear. Um, what I did pick up, well, she got this. Like a little camel. Star beam. I did pick up a couple of Mr. Peanuts, but I don't know where they're at. I picked up a CD. That's the one thing I promised I wouldn't buy any of, but it was a Leonard Skinner Greatest Hits. They only wanted like 50 cents for that. And it was in a tote completely full of CDs, and that's the only one I grabbed. There were several that I could have turned a small profit on, and I didn't. And then, this was a cool thing, same sale. They had several bags of toys. This one had like a vintage Superman figure in it. And then, like each bag had a couple things that looked good. Wow, where's that? It's like a Goku figure in there. A really old car. Like a Tonka truck type of deal. Um, let's see. Like the old wrestler looks like Ray Mysterio there, a miniature Ray Mysterio. They wanted a buck for each of these bags. A couple of the bags, like this one, had a transformer in it, a mini transformer. Um, that could be a GI Joe, possibly helicopter. It's some navy, which I don't makes me think it may not be GI Joe. But you never know. This is another bag with a Superman, another Goku, um, or Dragon Ball Z, Catwoman, some type of Spider-Man figure. I mean, some of those, if they're, I think the Superman was vintage, that's why I grabbed that. Here's another bag, had an old Transformer in it, and then, like a helicopter. It's like they're putting it together for the kids. I'm a kid at heart. But each bag for a dollar, and I saw little figures in there that I know probably sell for a good amount. Um, there's some craft supplies. That's for her. When I mean, she makes cookies, she sometimes she'll put some like fuzzy stuff in there. Oh shoot, she picked up a whole bag of lint rollers. That's a story. 
you sell clothing like this. Here's a little, um, like a lantern. I don't remember what we got for that, but it's a candle lantern. I recently sold a big candle lantern for 50 bucks. Um, this one's made in China, but it's still kind of cool. There's another one that went with it. Oh, two dollars for the whole set for a dollar each. That wasn't a bad deal. This was a uh, thing for bow hunting. Put on your wrist and make sure this works. Hmm. It could have a spring issue, but maybe not. I have to research. There's my Mr. Peanuts that I found. So those are cool. Um, and then finishing out this down here at the bottom it's like another little candle holder ornament um, oh and the other I did have another one in this box sorry I'm trying to find this but another um, tree stump nutcracker set so that's two of them I'm probably got one more somewhere that I found around the first day. Anyway, that's long enough. That's just this one tote. A lot of this stuff from two different cells. Hopefully I don't have this in another video, but if I do, it'll still be cool watching me go through and make some of the deals. All right. All right. And now <laughs> I'm sitting there just dripping y'all it is it is hot it's still in the 90s it's almost um it's after five o'clock in the evening but um yeah so that was me unboxing the 127 just one tote um pretty good for one video and uh awesome hope you enjoyed those things and look forward to me showing more of what of what we pulled from an entire week of thrifting every day eight hours a day Awesome. Awesome.